Uh, one of the things I will also say, again, you know, I'm always trying to be frank with you guys here. Uh, when it comes to the African culture, right? I'm Congolese by nature, so I'm not just speaking from an African, but also maybe a Congolese perspective. Um, maybe some other Africans can relate to this, how the dynamic in an African home can be interesting when it comes to the expression of love. So because we come from a culture where in Africa where sometimes somebody loves you, uh, but it doesn't mean that they have to verbally say to you that they love you, right? It could be through uh, some gestures. It could be through uh, showing something to you that that is an expression of love as well. And we come to a culture here in America that is so uh, uh, word focused, that is so verbal, that is so expressive and showing that you love someone like you know they always say you know it's not what you say but it's what you do or sometimes it's about uh what you say and do uh so, so it's it can be kind of a struggle i know for parents i know for a long time you know it was not easy for you know i, I think my parents to actually be conscious of having to say son i love you son we love you you know and having to say that often because here here where the struggle was so i'm here right come to america everything is nice i go to school and i and i see my friends and the interaction that they have with their parents where their parents are super cuddly oh my god and like you know they love on them and they keep telling them that they love them even though sometimes they be lying or sometimes they just you know pretending uh because in the end you see like well i thought your mom loved you and she did something crazy like that you know, crazy stuff but uh they at least were expressive right so you as an african child where you haven't heard that so much or at least the home dynamic is different um it can kind of sting a little bit so you wonder to yourself like man like yo um what do i do you know like do my parents not love me because they don't they're not saying it to me trust me your parents do love you i think it's just that it could be a cultural thing where they're not so used to be so expressive about that um and you have to adjust they have to adjust as well that's why i'm making this video i think that is very important i think so so these are the points from a children's perspective on how to improve really the communication skills once you come to america uh if this has been good to you guys the next video we're going to be discussing uh the parent perspective by the way if you want to hear that give me a thumbs up that lets me know as well if this is a good topic that you guys want to hear more about that from my personal perspective uh, my experience what i've had here um i've been uh, abroad for over a decade now and the adjustment has been something interesting from the switching of culture to the language uh to the educational system many different things man i don't even know where i was going with that but uh <laughs> anyways subscribe to the page if you haven't done so yet and you get a chance to also see more videos like this one until then this has been our journey into our my american dream and uh, being able to basically give you guys a modern day account of an African uh, living into America and adjusting to the diaspora and the culture, the new culture that is in America. But anyways, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay cool. Stay blessed. Always remember, you guys very best. Deuces.